Although the D300S is a very sophisticated camera, it's just a machine, and it won't always know what exposure settings are going to be best in all situations. It's up to you as the photographer to keep your eye on the exposure and then fine-tune the camera as necessary. For example, suppose you take a picture and you can see right away by looking at the histogram that it's too dark. For whatever reason, the camera has been fooled into choosing exposure settings that aren't perfect. Now you could put the camera on manual exposure mode, adjust the settings, and then take the picture again. But an easier way is to use exposure compensation. First, aim the camera at the subject and observe the exposure settings. This f-stop and this shutter speed are what the camera thinks are going to be the best settings. But you know that isn't right because you already took one picture and it looked too dark. So you want to override the settings that the camera has chosen by increasing the exposure to let more light into the camera. That's called exposure compensation. To activate exposure compensation, you hold down the exposure compensation button and then turn the main command dial. Now for overexposed subjects too light, choose a negative number. For underexposed subjects too dark, choose a positive number. Be aware though that this exposure compensation setting will stay in effect until you decide to change it again, even if you turn off the camera and then back on again. Exposure compensation will still be in effect. To get more great digital photography tips for your camera, be sure to check out larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.